is a little voice in the back of my head. And I want it to shut up. of you have that little naggy voice sometimes it's not that loud sometimes it's a really quiet voice like something way off in the distance in the back of your head mine constantly says failure you're a failure because you lost your job when I fail the class, it's, you're a failure. You fail the class. You're a failure. You don't have a new job yet. You're a failure. You don't write enough. You're a failure. You can't make your goals. You're a failure. You're a failure. You're a failure. And, or you're a failure. Put it off. It's nothing. It's just gonna be nothing. You can just take care of it at home. It's nothing. And I want to turn around and I want to say to this little voice in the back of my head, if it was a person and not just the anxiety depression monster in the back of my brain, I want to just say, I'm not a failure. I'm human because of you. You are the reason I lost my job. Because I listened to you. I was sick and I didn't go to a doctor because you in the back of my brain, you, you said that it was okay. There was nothing really wrong with me. That a doctor would just say it was this. We rationalized that it was this or that. But it caused me to call into work. It triggered and caused panic attacks, migraines and headaches. I had cramps that caused me to curl into a fetal position and cry in pain. And I called into work for them. It caused me to have panic attacks at work, at jobs. Constantly in the back of my brain going, you're a failure. That's not important. It's not going to make a difference. You're fine. It's because of that little voice in the back of my head. Causing me to miss those days at work. That I miss too many days. And when I was borderline unfunctional from having two really bad panic attacks days in a row, that I lost my job. Finally, that little voice had no more excuses and I finally went to a doctor to find out what was wrong. That stupid little voice, I want it gone. Because of the stupid little voice I have put off and put off 
for two months getting in contact with a counselor. And I finally did. I got in contact with a counselor. I have an appointment scheduled. But that stupid little voice is still in my head. Because I don't have a job. Because I don't write enough. Something that I enjoy. That stupid little voice in my head doesn't let me sit and watch TV. It doesn't let me sit and read a book. Because it constantly says, you should be doing something. Why don't you have a job? And it's so annoying. I just want to push it down. And make it go away. So that clip, I, I didn't intend um, to speak poetically in any way, shape, or form. That's just kind of how it came out. Um, as I was talking about that little voice in the back of my head. But because of that voice, that voice causes so much like, strain and stress on my mental, physical, whatever health, uh, just in general. I'm going to try and do a couple of things to uh, help myself kind of shove that voice down maybe while I don't have a job yet. I'm still applying to jobs, so I'm still looking for jobs. And I'm also like in this weird state of I do not know what I want. I do not know what I would like to do with the rest of my life. And... That's a problem when you're looking for a job. You should kind of know what you want to be doing. And I don't. But to kind of stem that annoying little voice down a little bit, I'm going to, I'm doing a couple of things. I'm going to do like a little experiment. Um, I'm going to, I am going to continue looking for jobs. I'll explain the experiment in a moment. I'm actually more consistently gonna try and write in my journal see if that helps a little bit because then I'm getting thoughts out of my head and down on paper because there is something very therapeutic about writing down on paper I'm also going to try this experiment is I'm gonna try and give myself quote unquote shifts like like um I am gonna assign myself tasks for a day and I have to complete those tasks or do progress on them I can't do other stuff I'm actually making in Google Calendar which I will go ahead and show you. I have nothing to hide um, in this situation. Why is that? So, this is not for sure. I'm still working on this, by the way. So, currently I have a Google Calendar set up here. And um, I've said the G word too many times and my mini is going off. But I'm literally putting in breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack times, like that. I'm kind of giving myself like an eight-hour shift type of thing going on to kind 
kind of try and treat my writing and my non-writing stuff that I do as a job while I'm looking for a job. Um, for example, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays are kind of like the writing days, I guess. And then Tuesday and Saturday are like non-writing days, sort of. But Thursday and Sunday are technically days off, but I still do Coffee Bunny on Thursday. And I can work on like stuff if I just want to work on it. I... So far how I'm thinking I'm going to do it is I'm going to do really long streams. So I'm probably going to stream a lot. And y'all are going to see so many streams from me, I'm so sorry. To kind of keep track of my hours. Like, I'll be clocked in when I'm streaming, more or less. And I'm going to, even if I'm streaming, I'm still going to take breaks. During those breaks, I might be on screen or I might just pull up a sprint and be like, Guys, this is my quote-unquote break time, so I'm going to have y'all do a sprint, or I'll turn on an idle game, load that up, and let y'all watch that, and walk away. But, I'm hoping by actually giving myself somewhat of a schedule, I can shut the annoying voice up in the back of my head that constantly calls me a failure. Constantly. I'm going to have to adjust this probably as I go. A little bit. A work in progress. But I'm going to do an experiment and try this. Also, it does allow more flexibility than an actual job. Because, like, I have on here, like, I have to go get some blood work done. So I have to go to my doctor's office. And I don't know how long it's actually going to take me. So... Hopefully it won't take too long. But I can include that in here. So I'm going to kind of do an experiment of kind of treating my stuff like a job. Hey, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. But let's see how it goes. So, but, um... Thank you for watching. If you are interested in this at all, uh, please hit the like button, subscribe, whatever. Um, I am going to do the Classics Book Club. So we're going to read the Iliad books 1 through 8, and we're going to discuss that on July 26th at 3 p.m. So that is linked already in my channel. The stream is already available, so we're going to talk about that live. If you would like to join, I'm breaking it into three books, into three sessions. So, yeah, I hope you have a good one. Bye!